throwing away his shot, Lane Alden Krauss, the man playing A. Ham himself. He takes me back to the moment he found out he'd be playing one of the Great White Way's most beloved characters. They called me and was like, hey, we want you to come back again and we want you to be the guy, you know, for the, the rest of the, the, the run of the show. And, and of course, of course, it's a dream come true, right? It was just like I've arrived to that place that I envisioned as a little kid. And Blaine says back again because Hamilton is not new to him. Funny enough, he'd previously played Aaron Burr in the renowned musical. Spoiler alert or history refresher for you, Aaron Burr, this guy, shoots and kills Hamilton in a duel. So what's it like now that he gets to play the show's protagonist? For me, I, I kind of think of them as the same person and two guys of the same coin and one's just heads and tails. They kind of have the same dreams, same ambitions. Um, you know, they come from different places, but what they want to produce physically in this new America is the same. And the only difference is that Burr is a bit more timid, a bit more methodical, reserved, and Hamilton, you know, can't keep his mouth shut. Though the phrase, talk less, smile more, is a recurring theme throughout the show, you'll hear a lot of talking, and rapping, and spoken word, and of course, singing. In fact, you'll probably hear more talking than any other show you've ever seen. Um, Hamilton is the most words spoken on a, on a stage, even including Shakespeare, ever. And Hamilton himself says the most words out of any character ever in the history of theater. When it debuted in 2015, more than 2.6 million people saw Hamilton on Broadway, according to Broadway World. Another 7.8 million watched in theaters across the country, not to mention the millions who have watched the version streamed on Disney+. Plus. Hamilton's claim to fame, Blaine tells me, there's something in it for everybody. You've got your granddad or uncle who loves history and loves politics, right, and loves all that kind of knowledge. Then you've got your, you know, mom or maybe son or daughter who is a theater nerd and loves musicals, like my mom, you know, grew up watching Sound of Music, right, and is gonna come see the show. Then you've got like, you know, 12 year old girls and eight year old girls who just see the show and they see vibrancy and they see color and they see women empowerment and they want to wear the Skylar sister outfits, you know, and then you've got little cool dudes who are like, yeah, I want to be the king and they come dress up and and then you've got people who've never seen theater who may become like for me, you know, the African American community who has really strong ties to hip hop and rap and um, see that being brought on stage in ways that we've never seen. Aside from the vibrancy, the music, the classic theater tropes, there's something to be learned from Hamilton. For Blaine, the most impactful line of the play comes at the end from Aaron Burr. I should have known the world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. And I think if there was any message that was apolitical that everyone can take away is that this world is big enough for all of us. And it may not seem like we can have it all, but we can have it all. And we can agree and compromise and we can disagree, but does it have to get to that place, you know? One thing Blaine says we can agree and compromise on, a love for the stage. Come see art. Art's amazing, live theater's amazing. Robin Oginye. Fox 13 News, Utah.